Hello everybody, we're the Disney Duo, and we're here today to talk about our, pins. Yeah, our Disney pins. <laughs> um, so we figured uh, do kind of a short video going over the Disney pins that we do have. We're not big uh, pin uh, collectors, but uh, we do have a little bit of a collection forming. So yeah. let's go ahead and start going through some of these. And we haven't actually pin traded yet either. <laughs> no, um, no pin trading has been done. What we've done is we've purchased pins that we really like. Um, we have bought a couple blind packs, so mm -hmm. we have a couple duplicates. That way we can start pin trading. But overall, we mostly bought ones that we don't want to give away, so <laughs> we haven't really yeah. traded yet. But we, we do have some that we've mentioned in another video, and we'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's go ahead and start going through some of the pins that we have yep. here. All right. I'll let you start with this set. Oh, no. All right. So uh, one of our favorite movies, we try to watch it every Halloween, is Nightmare Before Christmas. And so we have a few pins here. We obviously have uh, Jack Skellington here. So that pin's kind of cool. And then, of course, we have an Oogie Boogie. And these were real popular around Halloween time, so we picked these up at the parks. They were pretty, pretty commonly found. And uh, I always forget his name. I believe his name is Zero. Their dog. And then, of course, we've got a Sally. And then another Jack Skellington. And so, what else do we have? All right. Our kids, ever since they were little, our daughter's favorite animal is a turtle. Um, so we got this pack. Um, it came with two pins on it. It came with Squirt from Finding Nemo. And it also came with Little Nemo. So those did come as a pack together, um, but we got that because she really likes turtles. Mm -hmm. Our son's favorite animal is a monkey, so the closest thing we can find to that is King Louie. So that's for our son, but we picked those up at the park. Parks. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of monkeys mm -mm. Uh, as characters, which is odd. They've got... They've got orangutans and things like that but they don't seem to have any monkeys no monkeys come on get on it disney yes <laughs> so what what else do we have here all right uh one of the movies we we like is uh big hero six so uh we got a baymax here and we actually uh, got to meet baymax at one of the character meet and greets so that was kind of cool yep like that one a lot and then obviously we have hero as well and that was a, a twin pack. They yeah, both came together. Came in a set. And then, then they have the, some of the other characters available as well. And we're not going for complete sets necessarily, but... Just ones that we like. Yeah. All right. We found this one at um, the outlet store, the Disney mm. outlet store. Uh, character warehouse, character, I think. Yeah. yeah. But it's still an outlet store. Um, it's one of my favorite princesses. And they have a lot of these ones where the princess is on like a flag. So this is Snow White. Yeah, and at the Character Warehouse, they're very inexpensive. This was probably three five, to six bucks. Yeah. yeah. I think it was around five dollars or so. So not very expensive at all. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely cheaper than you'd get them at the parks. Yes. So that's <laughs> nice. All right, I'll let you do your favorite guys here. All right. Um, Love video games, and so obviously I, I was drawn to the Wreck-It Ralph movies. So we got these... Uh, like 8-bit Wreck-It Ralph pins. So we got Ralph here. And Fix-It Felix. And then when we were at, I want to say Animal Kingdom, we found these uh, uh, almost Japanese-style, what I would call chibi Wreck-It Ralph pins that started hitting the parks right around the time that uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet came out. Mm -hmm. So we got that one. And then another one here that says, I'm going to wreck it thought these were kind of cool i wish they'd come out with a vanellope one i haven't seen a vanellope pin all right our next set this is actually a 
a, a set. Blind, it's a blind pack. Yes. You get them in blind packs. We do have, um, of these, we have two minis, mini mouses, mm-hmm. and two Dales. Chip. Two chips, two mini mouse. Yes. Uh, that we're going to use for trading. Mm-hmm. Yep. So here's the mini mouse. And this is like an 8 bit uh, Disney set. Mm-hmm. And Mickey Mouse. And Daisy Duck, which we don't have this whole set. No, um, still missing a few. Yeah. I want to say we're missing Donald, we're missing Dell, and I'm not sure whichever other ones come in the set. But when you go to the parks and you pick up one of the blind pack boxes, if you turn it around, uh, it, it'll show all of them in the set, and then you can kind of uh, figure it out from there what, you, what you're missing. Yep. And if you get duplicates, use them for trading. Yeah. All right, um, there you go. All right, kind of got a random. I think we got this around Christmas. Uh, here's Olaf from Frozen. And uh, he's kind of got like a Christmas tree thing going on here. I thought <laughs> that was kind of cute when we were at the park. So we picked that one up. And uh, you know, some of my favorite characters from movies tend to be the derpy characters. <laughs> Olaf, Dobby, characters like that. Dobby's not from a Disney movie, but we won't talk about that. Um, so those are always my favorite. All right. These next two, you can only get at their after hours holiday events. Mm -hmm. One was available at the, um, Mickey's not Not so so scary scary Halloween party. And one is available at the very merry Christmas party. Yeah. And I think they have different ones each year. Yeah, they do. Uh, and we got one. They do have multiple pins throughout those events. They also sell them in packs, and I want to say that uh, at, uh, I forget which one it was, but there were people uh, off to the side looking at the various, like, packs or collections. They range from, like, a hundred and something dollars. I think one pack was, or set was, like, 300 for a bunch of the pins, mm-hmm. so. And I think it's in, like, a display case and stuff, too, so yeah, it's, it's not nice. just, like, a, a regular um, pin. But we're not that serious about it, so we just got the <laughs> ones we liked individually. Yeah. We got this one, which is a Chippendale, and they're sitting in a candy, like a cauldron candy bowl type thing almost, but the candy spins around, and we love Chippendale, and we thought that was a super cute little pin, so there's yep. that one, and then this one is Mickey and Minnie, and the bottom is kind of free hanging there. They're around a wreath. It's really cute. Yep. And what I did want to point out is for some of these bigger pins that they have, they'll have uh, kind of two backings on the back of them. Yep. Um, and that's just to kind of help balance them out so that when you put them on, like if you're wearing them on a shirt or a, or a lanyard, it's not, you know, rotating on you too much. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's kind of cool. All right. So when we went to the uh, character warehouse, uh, they have pins that are cheaper, but they also have the lanyard sets that you can get. So... Um, and they're going to be cheaper as well. So you can go to Disney and get like a starter set, I guess is what they're called. Yeah. It comes with a lanyard and it's going to come with some pins on it. So what we did is we ended up getting two of each. That way we can keep one of the lanyards, keep one of the sets, and then have the rest to trade. And so they had kind of the, uh, I was going to say generic, but uh, the, more of the generic looking uh, main mainline Disney characters in this set. And we've got another uh, a copy of this set in the lanyard uh, for this. Um, and then we also got a... Was this part of the, the duplicates we got or was no. this our daughter's? Our daughter's. Yeah, so our daughter got this one because it was fairly cheap. It's got a couple of the princesses. looks like Belle and... What is the other one there? Aurora. Aurora. So that was kind of cute. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll use... Uh, this guy here, we'll take the lanyard, we'll load it up with all of our duplicates, and we'll use that when we go around and do a, a pin trading video. Yep, which we will do soon. Eventually. <laughs> and when we do that, we're actually probably going to go to Disney Springs. It tends to be a little bit less busy. There is a lot of pin trading that you can do at the parks, but between Disney Springs and the resorts, those people are going to be a lot less busy and uh, more open to doing some trading with you. Mm-hmm. All right, we are part of the Disney Movie Club. Mm-hmm. Um, 
any Disney movies, you know, it's a monthly program. They let you know what movie of the month is. If you want to buy it, you could buy it. If not, you could pass. But yeah, um, it's a it's an automatic opt in, so you have to actively opt out of of that month's video. Uh, but it tends to be things that we're interested in anyways. The the new Mary Poppins movie, Ralph breaks the internet. Um, every Little once Mermaid, in a while, yeah, Little Mermaid. Like got... They they came out with the 4K version of that. Uh, so occasionally I'll pass on them, but. Uh, especially the 4K releases, I'll try to get those. If you're a VIP member, you can generally opt in. Again, you have to opt in for this because it's a freebie. Uh, but they do have pins and stuff that they'll they'll give you with the shipment of the movie. Occasionally, sometimes they're the lithographs. Yeah, and, and sometimes they'll do both. They'll do that and the pin. Yeah. But you have to when you're checking out, you have to opt in on those. Okay. So here's a couple of the pins we got yes. with that. So we got this pin. We actually. We didn't get this one with Little Mermaid. We got it with Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah. But whatever. It's an Ursula pin, and it comes on a certificate of authenticity. Although it's an authentic Disney one, I don't think that they're okay for trading. On the back of these, I know it might be hard to see in the video, but they have like embossed Mickey's Mickey faces on them. Um, it's got like a kind of a pin trading emblem on there mm -hmm. so i and the ones that we got from the movie club don't have those yeah there's various ways that you can tell if it's a legitimate disney pin some of them have uh raised bumps on them that are a little bit higher we're not experts at this this is just some some things that we've picked up on uh i probably couldn't uh detect whether one was a a, a legit or versus a counterfeit um, unless it was super obvious, but um, those are some of the signs. Uh, again, this kind of has like you know the uh, Mickey's on it, kind of hard to see there. Um, and then here's the back of the one that we got from the movie club. So there's yeah. no Mickey's. I mean, it does say Disney Movie Club, mm -hmm. and it has your little Mickey pin holder, but it's not. It doesn't have that embossed. Yeah, um, I, it's exclusive to VIP members only, and they're. They're still heavy pins. They, they seem to be nice quality, so I don't think there's anything weird there. Uh, it does say on the back of it uh, that it's Disney Movie Club, and it has a, has a, a number associated with it. And it's got the, the Disney trademark on there. So, I so, mean, I mean they're, they are official Disney pins, but whether they're I don't think able they're part to be of the traded, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. But anyways, here's the second one we got, which is Ralph and Vanellope. And Vanellope is in... A phone. <laughs> yeah. Almost so that, like they're taking a selfie type of thing. Yeah, and we got this one with Ralph Breaks the Internet, so that kind of made sense there. Yep. But they're super cute. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Yeah, last but not least, uh, this is a set that I am going for completion on. Uh, it's the Kingdom Console Pins Collection. Uh, they release, I believe, on the 15th of every month. Have no idea how many they're going to be, uh, but it's an interesting set. It's basically every month they come out with a new uh, pin for some of the classic Disney video games. And uh, the Disney video games were, were real big during the 16-bit consoles, so uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. They're kind of neat. The, the little controllers here are magnetic, so you can remove them. And the uh, game cartridges, you can kind of, I can't really do it here as I'm balancing everything, but you can kind of pull it out and insert it back in. Um, they have the dates up in the corners. I thought that was the date of the release of the video games, but uh, I looked into it and it's actually the release of the movies apparently. And usually the games release within a year or two of the movies. Okay. But we have uh, obviously The Little Mermaid here. Uh, they've released one for Aladdin. So that's pretty cool. And you can see it's kind of like a, a TV screen here with a game console. And uh, the most recent one here is actually for Lion King. And all three of these were pretty decent games. I, I think Aladdin was probably the best Disney-themed video game released in that era. Lion King probably a, a, a close second on that one. Um, and what we've decided to do is... Uh, we picked up two Lion Kings, so we're going to do a, uh, a contest for that. It's going to be super simple. Uh, like the vi this video, subscribe to our channel, 
and leave a comment down below and uh, we'll pick a random winner out of there and we'll we'll ship this guy out to you uh, they're only available in the parks they release on the 15th and they sell out pretty quick very quickly so uh, we thought that'd be kind of cool to do for our followers yep. uh, so uh, we'll post some more details uh, in our social medias yeah. our insta twitter tubes <laughs> somewhere in there so anyways that is, that's all that's of our, our pins. pins. Yeah, we don't have a ton of them. <laughs> uh, we are going to do some pin trading soonish. Yes. Uh, so maybe within the next month, we'll do. Uh, we'll go to some of the resorts and use that as an excuse to go there and eat food and do some <laughs> pin trading. Yes. So, anything else you want to say about the pins? The pins. Well, like we've said, we've never pin traded before. Mm -mm. If you have any tips or tricks or hot spots for pins or anything like that yeah. let us know we would greatly appreciate any information <laughs> since we've never done it yeah and i'm i shouldn't be but i'm a little scared to do it i don't know why yeah. i guess i don't want to bother people <laughs> no the cast members are used to it I, I think that you just be respectful if they're busy with with customers um, so it's not that big of a deal anyways i don't want this video to be 30 minutes long so i'll, I'll go ahead and wrap here uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Yes. Uh, really appreciate you guys and your comments, uh, liking the videos. Um, again, thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe. <laughs> and always choose kindness. All right, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you.